Today is your day. This morning, I've been praying for all of you. I may not know all of you by name, but God does. And I know he's gonna answer my prayer. So today is your day. We've been talking about love and I have a question for you. Do you really know that Jesus loves you? Do you really fully understand how much he loves you? I wanna begin by reading in Ephesians 4, verses 14 through 19. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, and that you, you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, and that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. God wants you to understand how much he loves you. He wants you to understand the breadth and the length and the depth and the height of it. He wants you to understand all of the love that he has for you. I can't show that love to you. Your mother, your father, your sister, your husband, your wife, they can't show you that kind of love. It's kind of like when you introduce, you know, you have this friend of yours or this sister or this brother and you're, you're, you're you, oh man, I know somebody that's a perfect match for them and you introduce them and either that love's there or that love is not there. You made the introduction, but man, you can't make them love each other. So today I'm, I want to make this introduction for you, but I have news for you that today you can know the love of God. So I'm introducing you to Jesus, there he is, but you have to accept it. Okay, so do you ever feel empty? Or do you ever feel alone? Or do you ever feel like something is just missing from your life? Well, that is Jesus. We all have this longing for something more in life and when you finally understand that it's the love of God through Jesus that you're seeking, you have a fulfillment. Yeah, no, every day is not hunky-dory. Things don't always work out just the way you think they ought to go. And we have hard times and we get, you know, we may get sick and we may have financial issues or, you know, whatever. But there's still this inner peace that happens when you know the love of Jesus. So, and I, I can... I was thinking this morning about my children. I have four of my older children that are married with children and they're, they're starting to see how much I loved them, how much I love them and still love them. But until they had children of their own, yeah, they knew, oh, mama loves me. But until they had children of their own and they held those little babies and they looked into their eyes and thought, man, I love them so much. They didn't really understand how much I had loved them. I have one that, that gave me a card on her birthday to honor me on her birthday because she's realized, man, you really gave everything having me and taking care of me because you love me. And that means a whole lot to me. But just think about how God loves us so much and he wants to do everything for us. So here's that introduction to him but now in this, in this scripture here, what I've prayed for you today is that you would know the breadth and the length and the depth and the height of his love and that you would know the love of Christ which passes knowledge. It's, be, it's beyond our thinking and that you might be filled with all the fullness of God that comes by knowing him, by knowing his love. If there are issues in your life it can be anything from unforgiveness to any kind of sin. When you understand the love of God, you don't want that in your life. When you understand the love of God, you have fulfillment that only he can bring. Uh, I have another scripture I want to read in Revelations 3.20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. This is Jesus speaking. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. It's up to you. He, he's there waiting for you. And if you just open that door of your heart to him, 
and say, here I am, God, I'm yours. You surrender your life to him, he will come in and be with you. It says, and, and sup with you, have dine with you. He will, you know, when you have, when you have people over for dinner, it's like, a, it's like a personal thing. You know, you're eating together, you're talking and you're, and you're just, it's just this personal time. And that's what God wants with us. He wants that personal relationship with us on a regular basis. And when we open ourselves up to him and say, here I am and I receive you, Lord, it makes that relationship like it should be. So today is your day. I want you to spend some time alone with God, renewing that relationship with him and asking him to reveal his love to you like he's never done before. Accept him by just saying, I accept you, Lord. <laughs> and then say, please show me the depth of your love, the length and the breadth and the height, the fullness of your love, so I can understand that and apply it to my life every day. Today is your day. Don't wait another day. Don't let another day go by that you're not spending that time with God. Even as, even as a Christian all these years, I still desire to fully understand his love and to, and, and to, and to know that and to understand it every day. So whether you have experienced that or you just desire more, spend time today. Don't let the day go by. I'm telling you, today is your day.